Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And, um, I feel kind of, <laughs> I did it. I finished my first sweater. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys. In fact, I've been crocheting like a mad woman today. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even cut off my end. I just went around the last time, put my sweater on, and I was like, oh, I gotta go make a video. Um, my hand is very sore. Um, but yeah, this is the sweater that Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, had finished. She made hers in goldenrod. I just made mine in dark orchid. And, um, I just thought I'd quick make a little video about it. I got something in the mail, so I was going to share that with you. And then, um, yeah, uh, first though, I'm going to tell you the name of the pattern. And then I'm going to put it on Juanita so I can show you um, the thing that I'm kind of struggling with. So I'll put a link in the description to Debbie's video. So if you want to see her video where she's wearing hers, you can. Um, Try to find the beginning page of this pattern. Here it is. It's called Dabbles and Babbles Crochet Patterns. Easy Wear Cardigan Crochet Pattern. Um, this was a free Ravelry download, and that's what it looks like. I did the exact same yarn that Debbie did, and that's uh, Red Heart Super Saver Chunky. Um, and the reason I did was because um, I don't know necessarily the yarn that she used to make this. And Debbie used a Chunky, and I... I have a really hard time gauging what is chunky or too chunky or so because she made the sweater and it looked good I thought you know what I'm just gonna use the same kind I think I'm going to make it again um, a smaller size <laughs> and um, use a different kind of a chunky yarn a uh, softer because this is very firm now maybe it's because I just straight up finished it um, I'm gonna yeah so I think I'm going to take it off and put it on Juanita. And then I'll show you, and which I think could be the same problem that Debbie had when she made hers. But I am super happy. It is a wearable sweater. Um, I did only do two rows of the edging because I really got tired of doing the front and back post double crochet. And I must have really short arms because it's really long. Like, I could cuff it up this much. So here, let me pause it, put it on Juanita, and then I'll show you the arm thing that's kind of strange. So I had to put my favorite wrap on because it's still like freezing in Wisconsin and it's freezing in my basement. So this is the sweater, Juanita's wearing it, but this is the part that's kind of odd on the sweater, where the arm and how the shoulder connect. Um. I really don't know enough about crochet to know how to fix it because even on me it's probably this much past my shoulder like my shoulder is right here and this is where that is and then the line where you sew the sleeve onto the oof, maybe I lower you I don't know the line where you sew the sleeve onto the sweater, it just creates a weird line down your arm because literally it really is that far down. Um, maybe I could make a whip stitch. Um, uh, get, get Juanita in here better so you can still, still see it. Maybe if I would have done like a looser whip stitch, maybe it would have not been so tight there. But it's also very heavy. It's very heavy and very thick. Well, it's made with chunky yarn and it's Red Heart. So this is something where I feel like in Wisconsin, when you're having like a day that's like 40 degrees, I think you could just wear that. You don't even need a coat, wear your shirt and that. But I'm very happy, I'm very proud and pleased. And Debbie, you were right. This is a phenomenal pattern. I feel like if you were a new crocheter and all you know how to do is back and forth rows, you can do this. The only thing that gets a little weird is when you're putting the edging on and um, whoop, that's the part I didn't weave in. And you're trying to go around these corners with the front and back post. 
that kind of gets a little weird, but you know what? It's not noticeable. So I'm really happy to have this under my belt. There was a sweater I mentioned a bit ago that Dolly from Moonfire Crafted made, and I'm going to make that sweater next because that was a paid for pattern and I did pay for it. Actually, you know what? I think this actually was. Didn't, wasn't this a $2.99 pattern off Ravelry? Because I feel like they both were. Anyway, I made it. I like it. I'm going to wear it around the house. And I'm very happy. And it is a beautiful color. It's very thick. It's very heavy. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll wear it and I'll back the camera up so you can see like me wearing the full thing. And for those of you that are big gals like me, lovable and squishy and full of this is an extra large out of her pattern so if you were probably a size 18 or bigger the extra large is probably still gonna be big enough I am definitely feeling like it is on the bigger side I could maybe bring it down a little bit kind of between the extra large and the large I think I could still get away with so keep that in mind. This extra large is definitely, definitely extra large. And then if you wanted to um, still bring it in a little bit more, you could put a couple more rows. Because like I said, there's still, this part is so broad. But yeah, it's great. I'm happy with it. I'm very happy for my first attempt of a sweater. Um... This definitely does it. The other thing I kind of want to do is I want to add pockets. I'm not sure why though. So I'm going to think on that on whether, because I still have, um, out of the eight skeins of yarn, I have, oh, down here, I have enough to make this much is all that's left. I have enough to make some pockets. So that is enough about my beautiful sweater. At the end of the video, I'll put it on and back up and you all get to see. And I'll put a link in the description to Debbie, and I'll put a link in the description to this pattern. And then you guys can buy it and make it. Yeah. Okay, so, Vesta, I'm not going to pick up the package and show you all. Um, but Vesta mailed me a few more pattern books, which I was really actually pretty excited about. And I just wanted to show you guys. Um, and then I will re-look up her email if you're interested she it has a lot of stuff she's been going through. I think she said she's moving. Um, Here we go. Um, so this is really cool. This right here looks just like that granny shrug that Mikey does, but really long. Do you see that? It's a long one. So I was pretty excited about this book because um, it has... It has the basic construction on how to put together, what are these called? Shrugs and boleros, boleros, boleros. That's the word. So I'm pretty interested because now I feel like I've figured this out. I think if I take my time and I'm not in some kind of rush, I could maybe take the idea of this and some of these drawings and redesign a better fitting sweater for myself because it shows you know how to do the pieces so I think that's what I might do um, and then look at this isn't this gorgeous look at this blanket I really like doing blankets that are pieces sewn together and here is a knitting one whoops I just lost one and also, I really like this. I was making stockings this year, and I thought, you know what? Look at that. Those are some cute stockings. I could step it up a little bit. I really love that purple one. Oh, and you don't even have to use these for East. Look at that. It's an Easter. It's a carrot stocking. Isn't that adorable? So this is an adorable one. And then, since I've been making all those granny squares with my Jimmy Beans, look at this patterns to do with granny squares so then maybe I can come up with an idea what to do with those Frankenstein I think that's what one of y'all called them the Frankenstein grannies They're the ones where I'm using all those little pieces and just sticking them together okay so I'm gonna be honest this is a little much a granny 
<laughs> wristband. I should make one for my husband for when he was working out at the Y. I already made him a sweatband out of cotton. But yeah, these are super cute. Look at this. It's a pencil case made with granny squares. That's adorable. And then shrug, blanket, tablecloth. Hmm. More blankets, a market bag, pillows, skirt. I've seen people make granny square skirts before. I am not going to work on that with me. That will take a lot of yarn. I'm not interested in that. But yeah, I really am very excited about, ooh, you guys, this is like a, a granny square box, like a toy for a grandbaby. You could use like the, I don't have any grandbabies. I'm not going to have any more babies. Maybe a niece or nephew. Anyway, um, you can use the boxes to do like pictures, like numbers or whatever. So anyway, I'm very excited about that one too. Just a second, I'm going to bend over because... Um, the other one that I also thought would be really awesome because I've lately been getting a lot of one, two, or three colors. One, two, three skein crochet. Did you hear what I said? I said skein, not skein. Um, so I thought this would be nice to kind of find some more patterns that you can make. Use just a few skeins of yarn. Maybe thin out this stash that I've got going on back here. <gasps> This is gorgeous. I wonder if you made this Vesta because it's bookmarked. If you did, I'm totally making one too and then we can be twins. <gasps> Except for, guess what folks, I'm not using the fringe. Look at how adorable that is. Wow. That is super cute. I'm not a fan of fringe though. And it looks like it's all double crochets, really. And it's got it marked as an easy. And how many yards? can't find it 490 yards oh you could use a full mandala cake look at how cute that is maybe I'll make it with my troll I've been hoarding three trolls back there <laughs> just waiting for a perfect thing to make with it so yeah so thank you so much Vesta I really love that you send these I've actually wondered I don't know how many of you feel about um you know maybe sharing a book a pattern book or two in the giveaway and speaking of which I did pick up my last um, I did pick up the little dollops which I feel like they're bigger than what they were the last time I bought them so I grabbed three cotton dollops to put in with the giveaway because I'm doing three prizes and it's already cotton and then I couldn't resist buying this for you guys I actually feel like I might sneak over and buy one for myself because now that I have three of them Look at how cute those are. They're little bunny tape re measures. You pull the tail. I can't open it to show you all because they're stickered. And you push the nose. Oh my gosh, so I bought three of these, one for each of the giveaway. So that's what I bought, a dollop each and a little bunny tape measure. And when we hit the 5,000, um, dear friends, I'm going to put up a separate giveaway video. Some of y'all are trying to enter off of that last video. And, um, no, I'm going to do a separate, um, it's going to be my 5,000 subscriber giveaway video and it's opened internationally. So we're like right around 130 more or so, and that'll be really great. But yeah, I just, I didn't have so much to do in this video because I was just so excited to come down and show y'all. I made my first sweater. So yeah, that's what that is. That is my first sweater made with Super Saver. And I'm super excited. I'm going to be really warm, but I've got to figure out um, what's going on. Also, I wanted to say, you guys, I got my hair cut and colored. This is the first time I've had my hair highlighted like this since um, having kids. When I started having kids, I stopped getting my hair colored because you shouldn't really do it in your first trimester. And then I've done like all over hair box colors myself, but this is the first time in a decade that I got the layers. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, I got bangs. Sorry, Christy Cook from T-Dolls, I copied you. I actually took your picture, <laughs> showed my hair girl, and I said, I want bangs like Christy. So thank you. I hope you don't feel like I'm copying you, but um, imitation is the, isn't it, imitation is the something form of flattery. So yeah, so I got Christy Cook bangs. If you don't know, check her out on, uh, 
check her out. I'll put a link in the description to her. Her hair's a little more flippy, but I didn't do my hair. This is fresh from the salon. And you know, sometimes they do your hair nice, but it's not how you really do it. So the next video you'll see, I like to flip it out a little bit more. But yeah, I got Christy Cook bangs and I got a little bit of a, a little blonde and a little red. I'm trying to like blend the gray through. That was really what I was doing. But Maddie, when she saw my bangs, she was like, oh my gosh, mom, I hope I don't hurt your feelings, but I don't like it. I'm like, I don't, <laughs> my feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to like it. <laughs> so yeah, well, that's it, folks. Um, I'm going to pause the video, put the sweater on so you guys can get a full, a full shot of it so you can see how it looks. And then if, you know, if you're interested in it, make it. Um, these skeins were only like two fifty three each, I think, the Red Heart Chunky. And then um, I did end up buying two last minute off of uh, Amazon because I used eight. I had to use eight skeins, and they're more expensive on Amazon. So if you can find them at your Walmart, your Joann's, your Michael's, your, that's going to be your cheapest bet. I ordered them off of Red Heart, but I had to order a certain amount to get free shipping, so I had to get a bunch of other stuff. And then last minute, I needed more, and so... Okay, let's get ready for you to see the full, um, full sweater. Okay, so this is, I think, the best you're going to get here. So you can see that the sweater, I mean, it's not horribly long, but there is that weird mark. Like, this is my shoulder line, and this is where the shoulder is. Um, that's what it looks like. I really should go around, and that's why I've left it attached go around one more time like the pattern says I just got tired of doing the back and front post double crochet it was just getting kind of hurting on my hand so yeah that's my beautiful first time sweater um that's all I got for you folks thanks for watching and subscribing um keep sharing the videos because once we hit the 5,000 we have a cotton giveaway all right talk to you later and happy crafting bye